Hi there everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all okay. <coughs> Excuse me. To all the family members and subscribers, as always, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all. Please keep those comments coming. Please hit that like button. And please keep on interacting with each other. I'm really enjoying seeing that. Makes everything worthwhile. <coughs> Excuse me. Right folks, I went to Lidl yesterday and I came across this. Deluxe Balsamic Onion and Mature Cheddar Quiche. Butter enriched pastry with mature cheddar cheese and West Country cheddar cheese topped with a tantalisingly tangy balsamic onion chutney. And that's what it looks like folks. And this was £2.99p. And, the ingredients are wheat flour, calcium carbonate, iron, niacin, thiamine, 11% mature cheddar cheese, anti-caking agent which is potato starch, skim milk, 11% balsamic onion chutney which is red onion, balsamic vinegar, wine vinegar, and great must. Demerara sugar, water, corn flour and ground black pepper, free range egg, vegetable oil which is palm oil and rapeseed oil, double cream milk, 7% West Country cheddar cheese, 2% onion, starch, butter, dextrose, ground white pepper. And your allergy warnings in this are for wheat, milk and egg. So there it is folks. I've done this in the oven for 20 minutes as suggested and this is what it looks like. The darkness that you can see on top of course is the balsamic chutney. I haven't actually burnt it. It's all down to the taste test. Allegedly, this will feed four people. And of course it would feed four if you had other ingredients with it. So let's give it a go. See what it tastes like. That's what it looks like, folks. Oop. Not that bit. There we go, I caught it. The pastry on there is very nice. Could do with a tad more seasoning for me personally. But there again, so could everything else. The balsamic chutney is absolutely gorgeous. You've got the sweetness, the taste of the onion. Superb. The cheddar cheese, of course, speaks for itself. The cheddar cheese is really nice. You've got the sweetness, the saltiness of the cheese and everything worked together there is, is, is lovely. So many different flavours coming together there and working together as one.
I've got to be honest and say this is not the best quiche that I've ever had and nor is it the worst. I'm enjoying eating it, but I'm saying that, I don't think I will buy it again. It doesn't blow your mind in any way, but a deluxe product I was expecting more. In fact, in some ways, I would say the balsamic chutney, as nice as it is, overrides all the other flavours. Don't get me wrong. It isn't bad. As I say, I have had worse, but I've also had a lot better. I try a piece there, quite a lot of the balsamic chutney on that piece. And that chutney is excellent, but for me, it doesn't work in balance with the amount of cheese you get in here. Which is a shame. I wouldn't recommend this to anybody. Unless you like your food really sweet. First couple of mouthfuls I thought were really nice, but as I've got into it, it's becoming more of a chore to eat. So, if you see that one folks, I can't recommend it, not that I'm an expert because everyone's tastes are so different, but this for me just doesn't do it. I wouldn't buy it again. I can't really recommend it as being a tasty product and I'm afraid Deluxe from Lidl I'm going to score it a 4 out of 10 because that's what I believe it's worth. Right folks I'm going to leave that one there for now. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen far better than I've enjoyed trying it. If you have, please hit the like button, leave a comment in the box below, hit the bell icon for future uploads, and if you're not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Help the channel grow, and we'll become part of that bigger community. As always, excuse me, I will say to you all, Namaste. Have a wonderful Thursday everyone. Bye for now.